Hello, College of Nursing and Health Professions at USI. A little more casual than normal. I did break out my USI swag. All right, just wanted to touch base with you guys. Hope you guys are doing well. If I were seeing you nursing students in class though, I would be doing a little ADS trivia, okay? Well, we can't do that because we're not in class right now, of course. So I thought I would bring this ADS trivia to you. Just a few questions, okay. I don't just teach nursing. Very important for you to be able to do well in a trivia night at a restaurant or these trivia games online, all right? So I would normally do this in class, obviously can't do that. So I'm gonna share my screen with you guys and I'm gonna show you a few things, okay? This one is specifically for 80s trivia, okay? I'm an 80s geek, I have 80s stuff in my office. Once we're all back to campus, you nursing students, I encourage you to come and see my office. But let me share my screen with you because let's get into this, okay? We have to teach more than just nursing, okay? I have to teach you guys some life lessons. So when you guys do really well on a trivia night sometime, um, I want the credit for it, okay? Don Warman, hey, Don taught us this, and I know the answer to this. All right, so let me get this going. All right, so let's go ahead and get into this. All right, 80s trivia, here we go. I'm gonna move, my, move myself away from the answers and all here. Okay, are you ready? Let's go. All right, what 80s band? Now I'm in the way again, sorry. Move myself down here. Okay, what 80s band has a drummer with only one arm? All of these 80s bands are awesome, by the way, but only one of them has a drummer with one arm. All right, are you ready? Here we go, Def Leppard. All right, awesome band, one of my favorite bands. This was actually uh, a gift when I got my DMP. I went to see uh, Def Leppard, but I've seen them, I think, about 10 times. But anyway, I encourage you to look them up on YouTube. Uh, the gentleman there on the uh, on the far end, he's the drummer of the band. Search him on YouTube. He had two arms uh, when the band started, so they had some hits with that. He was in a car accident and lost his left arm. But what he's been uh, able to do, despite not having the left arm, is amazing. <clears throat> so I want you guys to take a look at that. All right, next question. Who's the writer and or producer of these 80s movies? Those of you who are nursing students, if you've been in my office, you've seen my movie posters and a lot of them are this, okay? There's one on here I don't have and I need to get that, which is Ferris Bueller's Day Off, but all right. So the same writer, he may have written or produced these, that's why I put it both. All right, you ready? John Hughes. This is very important information to know because I think it was back in the fall, one of the restaurants in Evansville had uh, a John Hughes trivia night, okay? So this tells you that this is some important information that you need for life lesson. So, okay, search John Hughes. Take a look at all the movies that, that he's been a part of. You'll be amazed. All right, you ready? Who was a soap star and music star at the same time in the 80s? This is also one of my favorites. This is key information to know. All right, you ready? Rick Springfield, not Bruce Springsteen. Two different people, okay? People tend to get them confused. Totally not the same. All right, so here he was as a pop star, and here he is. This part may be on a trivia question someday. Dr. Noah Drake, General Hospital. This is Rick Springfield. Okay, put that in your head. Next question. Which president famously said, Mr. Gorbachev, tear down this wall? Famous speech. Okay, so if you think about back to history, who was our president throughout most of the 80s? That would be Ronald Reagan. I have a Ronald Reagan bobblehead in my office, okay? It goes really well with all my 80s posters. So I have Ronald Reagan bobblehead. Come and see it when we get back to campus. All right, last question. Now, a part of all of this time, I hopefully you guys aren't just hanging out at home, binging on Netflix, or watching uh, your nursing lectures and studying for exams. Have to take some time out to physically take care of yourself. So a cardio workout is a great way to do that, right? So what 80s song is a must have for your cardio workout? There's a lot of them, okay? A lot of them are out there. But this one is the best. And if we were in class, I would have a little snippet of this 
to play for you, but I didn't want to get in, into any copyright issues, but I am going to play a little snippet of it off my phone, just for a second. Kickstart My Heart, Motley Crue. This song, if this song doesn't get your heart rate up, I don't know what's going to get your heart rate up. But, so I encourage you, go out. There's a little snippet of it. You guys can hear that. See, the faster it gets, the faster you run, the faster you go on the elliptical, the faster you roll, all that. All right. So again, when you guys uh, get this right some night in a trivia question, Don Warman uh, taught us that. All right. So I'm going to come back off and stop sharing my screen. All right, guys. I hope this gave you uh, just a little information, a little life lesson beyond nursing. Hope you guys are doing well. We look very forward. I look, I look very forward to seeing you guys back on campus very soon. Take care.